Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to uh, bring in a an image so that we can learn how to use the Orient to Points tool. So uh, the first thing I'm going to do is go to my Tools menu and I'm going to select a tool called Image Trace. And from here I'm going to select an image and I'm going to select the map of Australia there. And that is whoops, pretty well just fine. That's pretty much what I'm after. So I'm going to hit OK to that. And the first thing I'm going to do is just check my curves to make sure that I've got no uh, intersections happening. Pretty sure we're pretty OK with this one here. Um, that's OK. Everything else looks pretty good. Nothing that I can really see that's going to cause some issues. So what I'm going to do next is I'm going to use this and first of all I'm going to extrude it as a solid. So I'm going to go to solid menu and go to extrude curve straight. Um, both sides equals no. And just in the looking down viewpoint, I'm just going to take it up to about, say, there. It doesn't really matter too much. Now, what we've got there is we have um, a flat top on the top there. Now, if you're trying to render this, then that can cause issues uh, because V-Ray doesn't necessarily like flat 90 degree surfaces. So what we're going to do with this is we're going to select it and I'm going to hit explode and I'm going to get rid of this top surface here. I'm also going to do the same for Tasmania here. Get rid of that top surface. So we actually have something like that. Now, the next thing we're going to do is we're going to join all that stuff back together just for housekeeping. And I'm going to select my red layer color. I'm going to go to the curve menu and I'm going to select a tool called Duplicate Edge. In the through finger, I'm just going to region select just that top section there and then hit enter when we're done. And what that's going to give us is uh, a curve going all the way around. Now, I should make sure that that curve is all joined. I'm pretty sure it will be. No, it's all four closed curves, which is what we're after now. So what I'm going to do next is I'm going to hide my green section there. And we're going to place a slight dome along here. Now, here's how we do that. Uh, the first thing we're going to do is go into our curve menu and we're going to select, say, arc direction and in the through finger viewport um, and you can turn your grid snap on if you want to so something like that, it doesn't matter how big the arc is but you want to determine the I guess the uh, the type of arc or the size of the arc you want if you want something really severe you go with that obviously but if you only want something that's fairly subtle maybe something like that will do fine turn my grid snap back off this is going to be our reference arc so we're now going to go into the transform menu and use a tool called orient to points. So we're going to select our orient, uh, objects to orient which is going to be that curve that we've just drawn the arc and hit enter. The reference point is going to be that side one and reference point two will be this part here. And now we're selecting our target point so the target point is going to be anywhere on this part of the curve. You can hold down shift to engage ortho if you want to. Uh, it's might maybe a good idea to uh, put your near snap on. Like that. And you're just snapping to those points. And you can place those anywhere around here you want. Now it's a good idea obviously to place them on points like that you know anything that's kind of pretty sharp and you just do that all the way around and you'll see that uh, with this you're probably not going to see too much difference but if the curves were um, you know, if they were really far apart from one another, then that arc will actually get bigger the further apart they are. Because this is fairly consistent, the arcs will also be a fairly consistent size as well. There, okay. 
Uh, we can also do Tasmania as well. Let's not forget our little island state. Um, I think that'll be okay for Tassie. All right, and then we're going to hit enter. And enter again, that kills the command. So what we're going to do next is we're going to then go into our surface menu and select sweep 2. We're going to select our inside and then outside. And then we're going to select all of our profiles in the direction. Now you can do this uh, in, in parts or you can do it uh, you know, all in one go. Really kind of does depend on I guess the complexity of the curves that you're trying to sweep around. So I guess we'll see if this will work for us. And hit enter. And we want to close sweep and preview that. And hit OK to that. And you end up with something that looks like that. Okay. So you do have to be careful around really sharp, um, you know, bends like that. You can get sometimes, you know, where the, the surfaces will twist, but I don't think they've done that in this particular instance. Uh, let's do Tasmania as well. So we'll go to sweep two again and select in and out and then our points. Make sure we hit closed. Oops. Preview and OK. And we end up with something that looks like that. So if we bring back our main piece, we have something like that. We can get rid of our original arc there. And that's simply a case of joining all of that up. And then you can render away, and I guarantee you'll get a far better render by using that uh, method than just having it flat on the top. Hope that helps.